is that you, you need the, the person that's going to puppeteer, that's the, the vital element. And so um, I was constantly changing and redesigning the characters to fit around uh, the puppeteers' capabilities, what are their strengths, also what are the strengths of what puppets can do. Puppets do very, very little. Um, so you have to build on their strengths of what they can do. And, and when you get that right, the implication is they can do so much more. So it, it was an absolute collaboration between everybody. I mean, when we started, we had whatever. When we started here in New York, um, we may have had about nine people or something. But we ended up with over 360 people um, to get the film completed. And it was a, a huge collaboration between wonderful talents. Actually, I was just going to say, when you talk about the workshop, that there are a lot of techniques, technologies that were developed especially for this. It really was very groundbreaking at the time. And um, the foam in particular, the foam latex technology, and the way of sculpting, casting, um, creating the, the fiberglass skull and all that. So I'm going to pass it back to Wendy because she was actually loaned out to George Lucas around this time to do Yoda. Um, yeah, Yoda was sort of a, a practice run in a way for Dark Crystal because nobody, nobody had done a puppet like that. Nobody had done a puppet that was going to interact on the big screen in this way with these with this medium of foam latex for a whole thing. So we've been developing it in New York, and Stuart Freeborn had used it for makeup for years, of course, but nobody kind of put that all together.